Do you need funds to launch your online store? Do you have an online business, but sales are not where they need to be? Well, Exim Bank has a solution. It's called the e-commerce funder. I'm Kalila Reynolds, and it's time for another episode of Money Moves, JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's business advisory service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Our guest today is Hopeton Nicholson. He is the manager of loan origination and business development there at Exim Bank. Let's learn more. Hi, Hopton. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. How are you, Carlia? I am great. Welcome to Money Moves JA. So e-commerce funder is a brand new product launched by Exim Bank. Before we get into the actual product, give us some background on e-commerce in Jamaica. Exim mantra is the success of our clients is our success. Um, e-commerce, as you know, the internet has evolved more recent times than we can think about. If you think about how many business, businesses pivoted in the COVID period, and a lot of persons are no more relying on e-commerce and social media and the internet to complete businesses. So at Exim, we have realized, being a friend of the private sector, we have realized that we need to assist a little more with our small and medium enterprises in the digital space. So our product development team sat, looked at the needs, and see how best we could come up with a product that would be suited and geared towards helping our small businesses to get a little more into, into digital marketing and digital sales. Amazon success has also inspired a lot of yes. young entrepreneurs in Jamaica and worldwide just to get in that digital space and just to Absolutely. create some wealth for themselves. And, and, E-commerce and is definitely yeah. the way to go. Definitely. We saw what happened with the pandemic. It mm -hmm. really has ballooned and taken off. Yes. Even for those who were reluctant here in Jamaica, they found themselves having to go online and having mm -hmm. to offer this service. So how does e-commerce funder help me as a small business? We reserve a, a pool of funds from our um, balance sheet which is 100 million. We're looking to assist small businesses, medium-sized enterprises who, who are seeking to engage in, in um, that digital space, as I said before. We're looking at to at least 80% financing of whatever, whether it be the equipment, whether it be the marketing aspect of the um, e-commerce business as it relates to also the maintenance of your your um, platform. Mm -hmm. We're looking into website developments. So those are some of the things that we're looking at. We're even looking at um, the whole online marketing through, through Google, through the apps that you would see those marketing pop-ups coming. Those are the spaces that we're looking into, venture into and to assist our, our businesses to just be a little more dynamic and and be a little, and, a, and create a lot more presence in the market. Right, right. Everyone. Because yeah. there is a cost to, to getting online. Yes, it is. Yes, you can go and try to create a website mm -hmm. yourself, but yeah. then when you want to add the e-commerce integration, yes. you might need to try get a professional to, to yeah. do that integration. Yeah. For and, you. And, yes, and I mean those dig, the digital space, the the content, just the way it it is presented. You, you really need a professional on right. to assist. So is there a minimum or maximum that I can borrow? Yeah, yeah. The, the, as I said, it's a limited amount of funds. Right. It's 100 million. Um, the, the minimum loan amount is a million dollars. Um, the maximum is 5 million. But however, there is a little disclaimer. We only finance up to a maximum of 80%. 80%, yeah. right. So you have to come up with the other 20% 20 20%. yourself. Which is wise. You want your customers to have some skin in the game. Yeah, you need right? to have some skin in the game because I mean, when you when you have a vested interest, then you will also ensure that you protect your investment as well. So, so, what's the interest rate, and how long do I have to repay? So the interest rates, you see where the BOJ rates are trending. Mm -hmm. They are about six percent now. As I said, we are a friend of a private sector, so our rate is at five percent. Nice. And it's fixed for the period of maximum five years. Um, just to just to note that the facility is has to be a secured facility, and it can be secured by real estate, the common securities, real estate, hypothecation of cash, 
we look into receivables. Uh, we also look into serialized um, equipment. The equipment that are directly related to the e-commerce funder or the e-commerce e e setup, we look at those. If you are using the equipment, we generally look at a five-year, at a three-year term. Mm -hmm. While if you are using real estate or cash, uh, we generally look at five years. Yeah, so like my equipment here, that could be used as security. It could be used as security, to... and we will give you up to three years to... Ah, yeah. right. And I love that you said that the interest rate is fixed. It's fixed. At 5% for, for that because period. Because we all know what's happening with the interest rates now. They're going up and up every few yeah. months. So you don't have to worry about the interest rate and your payment changing every few months. Yeah, and we know that there's a setup period. So um, what we also do is to give you a moratorium on the principal for up to 90 days. So your payments does not start until 30 days after the initial disbursement. Um, and then in addition to that, we also give you a, a moratorium of 90 days on your principal only so you'll make the interest payment for the first 90 days and then on the in the fourth month your full payments will commence that's perfect so while the website gets up and running up and, and run, you start yeah. making actual sales from it yeah. you have that little grace period yeah. to, to start bringing in some income before you have to repay yeah, definitely, the loan definitely as i say you know the exim bank is a friend of the private sector mm -hmm. your success or as i know you're a small business as well is our success. See, try it there, expect to succeed. Expect to succeed. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're just doing whatever we can. As you know, Exim Bank is almost 40 years old um, in terms of the, the original um, purpose where we came about was to help the productivity sector. So we have transitioned a little into tourism and, and all of the linkages right. just to ensure that we contribute continue to contribute to, to national development. So that, that's what Exim is about. All right, so how can people apply? Um, well, the process is easy. You can start on our website, www.exambankja.com. This is under my purview. So all of these origination of applications will come to my department where my business development officers will make that contact. And there are some basic documentations that are required in terms of identification. We also look at basic accounting information, which is we don't ask for audited financials. We take your management accounts and your last 12 months um, bank, bank account statements, um, along with business registration, TCC. We do it for businesses that are at least two years old. Mm -hmm. So we want to see that you, you, you would have been in the market and you would have established yourself so we, are, we, we have made that effort to make it as easy. And we are not adverse to looking at exceptions and see how best, if it's a startup or how we can facilitate. But the target market was generally for the small and new and uh, medium enterprises that would have been in business at least two years. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Hope Dan. You're welcome. E-commerce. Business digitization. It's the way forward, our digital future. Let us help transform your business. Digitize, modernize, appeal to a wider audience, access global markets, increase sales, upgrade existing platforms, ask about Exim Bank's e-commerce funder today and access up to $5 million to build out your e-commerce platform with flexible payment terms and up to five years to repay. E-commerce funder, digitization aid at its best. Visit Eximbank at www.eximbankja.com. Eximbank, by helping businesses, we save lives and livelihood. Here's a recap of Hopeton's key points. Exim Bank is seeking to assist SMEs who are web-based merchants through a new loan called the e-commerce funder. Financing is available for up to 80% of the cost to create and launch. The loan offers some of the following, maintenance of platform, website development, online marketing through apps like Google. The minimum loan amount is $1 million and maximum $5 million.
That's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service, giving you the tools to grow your business. Visit their website at eximbankja.com and follow them all over social media at eximbankja. You can also visit my website, kalilareynolds.com, for a summary of this episode. See you next time.